Now, let us see how the zeros of a polynomial are related to its coefficients. The relationship between zeros and coefficient of a polynomial can be studied under three categories. They are relationship between zeros and coefficients of a linear polynomial, relationship between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial, relationship between zeros and coefficients of a cubic polynomial. Let us learn about each case in detail. For a linear polynomial ax plus b, x is equal to minus b by a is the zero of the polynomial. Now, let us consider an example on screen. The zero of the linear polynomial 2x plus 3 is minus 3 by 2. Next, we discuss about the relationship between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. Relationship between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. Let us consider a quadratic polynomial p of x is equal to 2x square minus 8x plus 6. By factorizing and solving, we get as shown on screen. Since x equal to 1 and 3, these are the zeros of the polynomial p of x is equal to 2x square minus 8x plus 6. Now, to know the relationship between zeros and coefficient of a polynomial, let us take coefficient of x square, which is minus 8, and constant term, which is equal to 6. As we know, sum of the zeros is equal to 1 plus 3, which is equal to 4, which in turn equal to minus of coefficient of x by coefficient of x square. Product of the zeros is equal to 1 into 3, which is equal to 3, which in turn equal to constant term, by coefficient of x square. Consider a general quadratic polynomial p of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. Assume the two zeros of p of x as alpha and beta. As alpha and beta are the two zeros of the quadratic polynomial p of x, x minus alpha and x minus beta or the factors of p of x. Therefore, the quadratic polynomial is equal to the product of k and factors of p of x. Let's simplify as shown. Now, by comparing both the sides, we get equation 1, equation 2 and equation 3 as shown on the screen. By substituting equation 1 in equation 2, we get b. This shows that sum of zeros alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a, which is further equal to the ratio of negative coefficient of x to the coefficient of x square. By substituting equation 1 in equation 3, we get c as shown on the screen. This shows that product of zeros alpha beta equal to c by which is further equal to the ratio of constant to the coefficient of x square. Now, from the general quadratic equation, if we take a as common, we get the equation as shown on the screen. Now, compare the coefficient of x and constant. We can observe that actually minus b by a is equal to the sum of the roots and c by a is the product of the root. In other words, we can rewrite the above formula as shown on the screen.